Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to start off by saying that I do apologize because it has been a little over two weeks since I last uploaded my video and it was because I was stuck on watching this Korean drama called Boys Over Flowers. If you've watched that drama, I know I'm late in the game because this drama came out in 2009, but it was so good. It had me in all types of feelings. I was sad, I was depressed, I was angry, I was anxious. That drama really had me everywhere. So I'm gonna post a picture right now of the drama. If you wanna check it out, then you know, by all means do. It was so good and that's what I was doing on my spare time. If you're new to this channel, hello, my name is Day and let's get straight to the review. Okay, so I actually got this box sent to me about two days ago and I actually should have uh, reviewed this palette like two days ago but as I mentioned I was stuck up on a new drama that I just got into but here it is this is the yes please palette that I got which I'm so happy that I got my hands on this because I think I missed the first two stocks that they had so when I found out they were gonna have a third restock I was like I need to get my hands on this palette and yes here it is thank you so I got this and also I don't know if you guys know but Colourpop they also <clears throat> ooh, they also released uh, brushes and so I got my hands on a couple of them I got the pencil brush the tapered blending brush and then the medium shader brush so I thought I can like kill two birds with one stone by reviewing the palette and also these brushes that I just purchased and uh, as we all know the Colourpop palette this is how it looks like the box is the same that I reviewed for the she palette and then it also always comes with this booklet that sells their products and tells you the best way to use them and then this little card and this one today this one says hey there let us celebrate and it has like a little lettuce here I'll show you guys it's right there I have a lot of writing on it but that's what's on it I think it's so cute so let's jump right into it so as I mentioned this is the palette and the box that it comes in it says yes please and if I'm not mistaken this is actually Colourpop's first ever fixed 12 pan palette that they released it retails for $16 and in this palette there are eight matte shades and four metallic shades so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for you guys and show you guys the colors and then I'm gonna swatch them on my arm so you guys can see each one in detail so this first shade is called full zip and it is a metallic rust color over here we have big cocktails which is a matte pale peachy nude this shade over here is called Champs. It's a matte orange. Over here, I don't know if you can see the shade, but I had to swatch it twice. Um, it is called Bling, and it is a matte warm ivory. The next shade over here is called Louis, and it is a matte rust shade. Over here, we have Butter Cake, and it is a matte brick red. The next shade over here is called oil and it is a metallic pale yellow gold this next shade over here is GNO or Gino I don't know how they want it to be said but it is a metallic duochrome red with a gold flip this next shade over here is called French kiss and it is a matte deep red brown the next shade is called Note to Self. It is also one of the metallic shades and it is a dual chrome bright orange with a gold flip. Over here we have Chauffeur. It is a matte warm caramel shade. And the last color is called French Kiss and it is a matte warm yellow shade. These are all 12 shades. One, two, three, four are metallic and the rest are matte. These two I had to swatch twice because they were hard to appear on my arm but other than that all of these is with one swatch. So let's get straight to the makeup tutorial. Okay as I previously mentioned I'm also going to be testing out the brushes as well as the palette so um, I think a nice transition shade just by looking at this palette again I don't know what I'm gonna do like I'm just gonna wing it 
But I think champs all over my crease. Yeah, this one doesn't have any fallout whatsoever. So that's good. So now I'm going to be going in with this tapered blending brush. I'm going to go back in with champs and I'm just going to fluff out the shade and smoke it further out. This brush feels so nice, by the way. The bristles are soft and they do pick up the pigment well. By the way, each brush individually retailed for $6. Um, and so I don't think it was a bad price. They do what they have to do. The brushes, <laughs> they get the job done pretty well. I think I'm going to further wing it out using this tapered brush. Just bring it out here a little. Satisfied with that. So now we are trying to see here. So now using ColourPop's pencil brush, I'm just going to go in with butter cake on the outer corner of my lids. Wow, look how much pigment that is. Woo. And guys, I can't stress how soft these brushes feel. They feel so amazing. They don't drag on the eyelids. Feel perfect. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and bring this shade up to the crease and just blend it out. the same brush I'm just gonna go and dip into mischief and I'm just gonna apply it to the crease the outer crease to give my eye dimension so I'm gonna use the pencil brush and just lightly dip wow these shades are so pigmented look at that wow so far I have no complaints about these shades we're just giving this um, a little bit of a rusty look Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with the shade Butter Cakes with this tapered blending brush and I'm just gonna smoke out the corners. And then I'm gonna go in with champs and butter cake like just a little bit of each and then smoke it out more so this is what we have so far going in with this shader brush I kind of mm, oh go good I want to dip it into full zip which we know is the metallic shade and yeah I'm gonna just apply it and pack it all over the remainder of my lids yeah it picks up the product well what I like about this um, metallic shade is that it seems creamy like it's very creamy and it sits perfectly on the brush Wow do you guys see that pigment that is so nice this is too I'm using this without fix plus which I need to get my hands on because I know that they make metallic shades look 10 times better. This shade is definitely creamy and it sits well on the lids. And I love the dewiness of it and the chrominess of it. <laughs> what I love about these shadows that I had a difficult time with the Kiss palette was that I actually have no fallout whatsoever. Like these shadows are not falling out. They're just sticking to the lids. Look how nice they are. They sit wow. Wow. This is gonna be my new favorite brush, guys. I love it. I've never had a shader brush. I've only had like dome type brushes, 
blending brushes like none I don't have a brush in my collection that looks like this this is definitely gonna be a go-to brush for me definitely if you don't want any of the other brushes please invest your six dollars on this medium shader brush because it is just so good I love it already okay so now that we finished the lids off camera I'm just gonna apply some eyeliner and then I'm gonna start smoking out the bottom of my lashes with some more eyeshadow so I'll be right back okay so now that I applied my eyeliner I'm just gonna take this brush by Coastal Sense I don't know what this type of brush is called you guys can see it's that brush and I'm gonna be going in with the shade Louie and I'm just gonna apply this to the outer and inner corners of my lower lashes to smoke out the eyeliner that I already have for the most part there's no fallout like when you use your brush to pick up the shade there's barely fallout See that I took Louie and I applied it to my outer outer and inner corner I left this middle spot empty because I'm going to take another brush that's similar to this one but a clean one and I'm gonna be going in with the shade note to self which is this orangey chrome one dual chrome one and I'm just gonna be applying it to the middle of my eyes to give it like a pop okay yeah this is the first shade that I encountered that has a lot of fallout Hopefully, I can apply this carefully to my lid. <gasps> but it's such a beautiful shade. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh. Look. Wow, it's so pretty. Okay, so now that we applied this shade. Wow, it's so pretty. Okay, um. I think I'm gonna go in I don't know how this will look like but I kind of want to try this um, kind of want to try this this metallic um, shade called spoiled on the inner corner of my eyes I'm just gonna go in with my pinky because that always applies best for me oh wow it's very creamy <gasps> wow it's so pigmented Wow, that just looks so nice. That really brings the whole eye look together. I always love to see when I applied um, shimmer on the inner corners of my eyes because it just really brings your eyes out and it makes them pop. Wow, I love finger application for um, ColourPop. Their shades apply well that way, like the Super Shock Shadows and these pressed powders. They just apply so well. But yeah, what? Ooh, I love it oh my gosh that is so pretty Ooh. okay guys well I think this is the makeup look how do you guys like it I really love these shadows they look so nice on the lids um, I'm gonna come back when I apply mascara and then I'll put on some lipstick off camera as well and then um, I'll do a final review of everything okay guys so I applied my mascara and then I just decided to go in with this lipstick shade by Kylie cosmetics in the shade ginger for my lips overall I am very satisfied with this yes please palette I say yes please people purchase it if you guys want just a nice versatile palette there are a lot of neutrals and a lot of fun poppy colors so I think there's a little bit of something for everyone I try to use as much shades as possible on my lids so you guys can see just to recap again I went in on my crease with this shade champs all over my crease and then I went down over here to butter cake and I smoked out the outer corners of my eyes then to give my eyes a little bit of dimension I went in with mischief on the outer crease corner then I went back in with both butter cake and a little bit of champs and I just smoked out all of my eyes this whole entire inner corner is the liking of full zip full zip all over my lids to give it a poppy duochrome 
shade in the outer lashes to smoke them to smoke my eyeliner out I went in with the shade Louis and then on the middle of my lower lashes I went in with the shade note to self just to give it a pop and lastly on the inner corner of both of my eyes I went in with this nice gold dewy chrome shade spoiled yeah and so that was it guys that was the palette the yes please palette it is definitely approved by me guys if they do have another restock i do recommend that you go out and purchase it and for the brushes the brushes i almost forgot the brushes let me grab them let me grab them real quick these are the brushes that i used on my face oh i'm sorry i got this little red thing um because i just scratched my face by accident anyways the show must go on um these are the three brushes once again that i bought from colourpop i believe that this one was number seven it is the pencil brush it was so nice it picked up the pigments well and it applied it very nicely on my eyes all the brushes were soft and for six dollars i recommend that you purchase each one um so yeah this was the pencil brush in number seven this one was the medium shader brush in the number eight. As I told you guys, this is my new favorite brush that I'm gonna be using to pack on to the entire lid. I've never had a shader brush, so that's why I'm very excited about this one. And then this one was a very nice blending brush as well. It, um, it's called the tapered blending brush in the number 10. ColourPop numbered each one, that's why I'm telling you guys the number. And yeah, overall these brushes were very good. For $6, you can't beat that. So I do recommend that you also purchase these brushes if you want to grab the whole entire collection. I don't know if they're going to have a restock, but if they do, I definitely recommend it. I didn't purchase any of the face brushes because as I keep mentioning in my videos, I don't use any facial products. I just go in with my eyes always. So yes, these brushes were approved by me as well. And that was it guys. Let me know if you want me to review anything else. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscription button and I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next one. Oh, and before I forget, please ring that bell also so you can get notified every time I upload a new video on YouTube. That was it for today guys. I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.